Hello, it is the Sunday night before I start my new routine. My all the ways I'm done. My goddess, when am I gonna figure that she's not out? I'm ripping the band-aid off, I'm starting it. And I feel like at least a week I can do. So here is the actual routine and I just found this online um, because I googled the morning routines of successful people. There's 10 items. Commit to a ritual. I think the practice of all of this itself is my ritual. So commit to the ritual and I think that's gonna free up my mind a little bit to spend less time thinking about what I'm going to do and just knowing this is the plan, this is what I do, this is my ritual, I will do it. Clear your head. So this is a meditation thing. I, shoot, didn't consider this one. So I'm gonna find a way to work it in. Sweat. That's my hour at the gym. Practice gratitude. I'm gonna make a gratitude list of five things and write it down every day. Rise with the sun or even before it. Check. Read a book for 20 minutes. I'm probably not gonna do this in the morning. I like to do this at bedtime so that I can like go to sleep. Should I change that? Should I do what this is suggesting or should I just consider this? I'm gonna consider it a daily routine, not a morning routine. So I'm gonna read when I go to bed. Journal, that's my gratitude list. I'll add to the gratitude list, I'll make it a 20 minutes gratitude list slash journal. Drink water, eat a real breakfast. I got stuff this morning at Trader Joe's so that I can be prepared to make myself breakfast tomorrow morning. And 10, make a to-do list. Okay, so we have our marching orders, right? I am now going to prep my for tomorrow so that I can be successful. I know that I'm going to the gym. I already signed up for the class and then I'm gonna shower at the gym so I'm gonna pack a shower bag. This is my bag. It says do something good. Oh, also Ryland's back from Colorado. So I'm going to be doing the sip tomorrow. Um, toiletries for my bag. Conditioner, shampoo, face wash, deodorant, body lotion, face lotion. I'm gonna also pick out my outfit for tomorrow and my outfit for the gym because I'm gonna need to change. Getting out my underwear. What pants will I wear? And top for the gym. Let's grab some socks. Uh-huh. We got some socks, we got some socks. That's my shit. I'm fire ringing tired already. Wow, it's the first day back to the pod. I should look a little spicy, but TBH y'all, I don't know how spicy it's gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Girl, Ty, she seep seepy. I'm gonna wear this sweater and some friggin' pants, you know? Just some friggin' pants. I'm not gonna overthink it. Here's the pants. I feel like I should bring the shoes I'm gonna wear, but it's like, yeah, I'm bringing shoes. My jacket, cause it's cold and I believe it's gonna be raining. How close are you to my face? Oh, you're only seeing my mouth. Do I want an undershirt? Fuck the undershirt, we don't have time for this. We're packing. We need another pair of socks. Great. All right, I'm gonna put this in my bag and I'm gonna put my bag by the front door. I'm gonna leave my panties and my gym in the bathroom. So that I, oh, a towel. You girl almost didn't bring a towel and they don't have towels at the gym, which I think is weird. Um, let me know if you think that makes me entitled. No, don't, I don't care. I don't care if you think I'm entitled. I know I am, that's crazy. Joe, I'm vlogging. Don't bug me. Husband's my right. Oops. Do something good, Pam. See you in the morning. Good morning. Sneaking out the house is not going well. Both the dogs are up, which means Joe's up, which means we're all up. Yay! We're for the side, a successful family. He's gonna kill me. As I was driving here, I realized one glitch in the matrix, and that is I didn't bring a brush, so we're gonna have some wonkity wonk hairs. But who cares? It's not even dawn, and it's raining. Okay, I'm in the shower right now. Bro, it's hella raining. Ugh. 
Nothing like a lukewarm public shower to really spike your social anxiety before 7 a.m. Hi, Monday. This is what we call a Prius blowout. Honestly, kind of and everything. Um, off to my meeting. It's so cold. It's so cold and it's so rainy and wet. It's a brutal time to decide to wake up at 5 a.m. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> it's only day one. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I haven't had any caffeine yet. Maybe this will get better after a green tea. Maybe all I need is some green tea. All right, now I wanna introduce you guys to this new product that I've been using, which is Peak Teas and Supplements. And it's really quickly become one of my favorite parts of my morning routine. I was starting to notice that my skin was looking like super dull and like not the best. And I was getting a lot of acne around my face that seemed to be stress related. And I think a big part of that was from drinking coffee and coffee was also causing me a great deal of anxiety. So I switched over to Peak's Sun Goddess Matcha Tea. It's literally made out of the highest quality matcha ever and quadruple toxin screened for purity with 35% more L-theanine than the usual matcha teas, which actually helps reduce anxiety. And with less anxiety, I have less stress, which means less acne. And that's pretty cool. Part of my morning rituals is I like to do 20 minutes on the phone with my friend Sarah where we just sit and write. But sometimes like after getting up really early, I've noticed especially today, I'm feeling a little bit of brain fog. So I'm really looking forward to a glass of the BT Fountain Beauty Electrolytes. This really helps clear up my brain fog. So I really like having it right before my 20 minute writing sessions every morning. It's been a total game changer for me creatively and physically. This is called the Peak Radiant Skin Duo. And if you use the code in my description box below, you can get 15% off your purchase and free shipping for life. Do it for yourself, you're not gonna regret it. This is a great way to jumpstart your day. And even in the afternoon, sometimes if I'm feeling a little sluggish because I've like worked out and been up since five, I just grab one of these. I open it really quickly. They're great for traveling because they're in these little packs. You just tear it open and mix it with water wherever you are. You can bring water in a water bottle or I like to heat it up in the kettle before I have it in the morning, but they're great travel companions. They're a great part of my routine and I hope they become a great part of yours as well. Why is it become a peace sign thing? Is this like a millennial condition? Is it something that I can't cure? Is it an incurable disease to me? Okay, this has to stop. Uh, I made it to Ryland. Uh, now she's happy. You should have seen her before she started filming. Real bitch. Do you wanna, do you wanna clear something up really quickly? No, I don't. My audience was wondering why I didn't shoot uh, the reveal of the gift you gave me for Christmas. Oh. Because like her wedding gift, it hasn't arrived. <laughs> Has it been ordered? Does it exist? <laughs> Let's go shopping later. Okay. Oh, wow, what a day. It's like eight o'clock. I'm gonna get in bed right now. I was gonna read, but honestly, I think I'm gonna write, watch Jenny and Georgia instead. I have to get my bag ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's much more chill. I just have the gym and AA and then I come home and I don't have to go anywhere. Today was a lot, going and doing the podcast after this and then having to come home and edit my vlog. Thank you, oh my gosh, that hurt my titties, butthole boy. That hurt mommy's titties. Thank you for the kisses. Shay, see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Good morning. It's a bit of a rough start. Oh, this hair. Um, I left the house without my glasses and had to run back and get them and now I'm worried I'm gonna be more than five minutes late for the class. Oh, oh, what a slog that would be. I made it. Time for another anxiety inducing shower in public. Getting on to my meeting. Um, I was reminded of the Michael Jordan quote, it's non-negotiable and I've decided that my personal and professional goals are non-negotiable. So watch the fuck out. It is only 6.40 in the morning and someone can see me morning. Morning, Sammy. What up, bitches? We're making 
bacon wrapped cheeseburger onion rings. Full disclosure, I am just doing a camera test right now because I'm using a ring light as last week's episode was a little hard to see, but now I'm worried that if I wear my glasses, we're gonna lose our intimacy. I can confirm the glasses do not work, so I will wear them atop my head. Hi. What, oh my goodness, bro. I just came out. How did you, where, how did you get out? Here it is, you guys. It's the husband reveal. Come on, baby, show your face. Are you fucking kidding me? Big reveal. <laughs> you're out, and cut. You're out of your mind. You think I'm not keeping that in the edit? <laughs> I can't come back from that. So let's just get right into it. I know last week was rough. And I decided to come back with a vengeance with something that's a little bit outside of my specific comfort zone during a time where I'm changing my atomical clock. Atomical clock? Anatomical? Is anatomical right? It's not? Do you know what I'm trying to say, Bubba? My biological clock? It's not my biological clock. I'm changing the time I wake up. I'm waking up at 5 a.m. This is day two of waking up at 5 a.m. I'm tired. And I'm going to attempt a seemingly difficult recipe with a seemingly difficult recipe to follow. I'm basing it off of something I saw on Instagram. And the account is laced with sugarlic. Yeah, laced with sugarlic underscore. And she posted these cheeseburger onion rings that look fucking delicious. So that's what we're gonna make with the sauce. But the directions are all just listed here. And to be completely honest, some of the ingredients were left out. So I feel like some of the instructions are probably also left out. But that's okay. I feel like no matter what, even if it's a crumbly, nasty, fucked up mess, these are gonna taste good. Take me, baby, or leave me. All right, to the salon! My whole plan is to play this in reverse, but if it didn't work, this probably looks so dumb. We'll drop the beef in this fish. When I dip, you dip, we dip. So into the bowl, we will drop the beef, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, mustard, dill pickles chopped, cheese, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika for the fricas, and ranch powder, and that's what we'll do for the beef. All right, let's chop these onions. Yeah, you. For anyone out there listening, if this message gets out, she keeps me trapped in the shed. I literally can't I need someone her. to break me out. So Please. what are you doing? If anyone heard that last message, I'm a, I don't need help. It was it was all a lie. I have a a really stupid, really oh. good life. I mean, ow, 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 ow. I'm in a a great life here, and there's a choice. I didn't mean any of it. 
Hey guys, so I'm done making these. I can't make any more of them. It's been an hour and a half of me stuffing these onion rings inside each other and then filling them with me and then wrapping bacon around them and I'm quite frankly slightly demoralized so I'll be making six. Get out of here, belly goat. Did you have something in your mouth? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> and then my preheat failed so I have to wait even longer to eat these things and I was Joe if you're gonna be behind the camera you can't be farting or moaning how do you fail in a preheat can we do a YouTube video on that to teach that a strong contrast ratio going on here with this ring light can you please it's fairly dramatic <sighs> goes with your whining <laughs> lens looks dirty get out of my life forever I'm announcing right here. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving my husband. <laughs> okay, good news. My husband and James are swimming with the fishes. Just kidding. I was trying to be hard and act like they, I took care of them. You know, like I took care of them. But then I felt bad even joking about that because I love them and I never want them to be anywhere else. I'm now going to throw these mother flubbers in the oven for 35 minutes. And while they're cooking, I'm going to make the dipping sauce. We're gonna do a cup of mayonnaise, thank God, because anything less than a cup of mayonnaise is not enough. Quarter cup of ketchup, tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon lemon juice, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon black pepper. We're not doing that because Billy Doe is still alive and he will be dipping in this sauce. Uh, garlic salt, one teaspoon, and one teaspoon of paprika. Let me hear it, Roma. Um, and then we're gonna mix it together. We're gonna mix it to get her. That's how I learned to spell together. You're welcome if you've been struggling. While I was waiting for them to finish cooking, and after I made the sauce, I made burgers of the leftover beef. And like, honestly, I'm a little terrified because that is so salty. And when I was putting the tablespoon of garlic salt in it, my inner Joe was like, that's too much. Ugh. Then we gotta figure out how long to put them in the air fryer for to make them crispy. They look pretty good. I'm for sure gonna have to find a way to cook these more. I think it's the air fryer, but I don't know for how long I should fry these guys in air. I wish that if you put a uh, recipe only on Instagram, you give me all the recipe. You tell me how to make it. Don't just make it look scrumptious and then hang me out to dry. <laughs> I'm dumb. I need help. Help me. I want these so bad. I'd be good. Okay, so 10 minutes was too long for these, but they do look crispy. Okay, Billy Dome, are you ready for the taste test? Yeah. I mean, you might want to give it a minute to cool off. Or actually, let me flip them over and air fry the other side. Okay, I have to put them back. I flipped them over and we're going to air fry the other side. Are you joking? Okay. I'm air frying the other side. Five more minutes. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. What do you not know about? This is some of the meatiest donuts I've ever seen in my life. God damn it, Bill. Time for the Billy Doe taste test. You guys said that on camera, Bill. Here's the sauce for dipping. What was your question? How does one eat this? Bye. I think you just pick it up and bite it. So you eat it like a donut? I guess so, but it's probably really hot, right? never stopped me before. How hot is it? It's pretty hot, actually. <laughs> Probably a dumb move. <laughs> Should we set a timer for 10 minutes for a visit? Mmm. No. <laughs> you handle this like a gentleman. How does a gentleman handle something that's too hot with a fork? I'm gonna take a utensil over here and I'm gonna carve me out a piece. I'm like a human being. Oh, wow, that's really hot. Yeah, that's hot as fuck, bruh. I think you should wait a minute, buddy. I think we need to drizzle some of this on here. Hot? <laughs> Too hot? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Salty? 
Yeah, it's really salty, but I'm a salt kind of guy, that's for sure. This is, I would, I like this, but it. It's too salty. It's just too much in general. A bacon donut, no one should be running around eating bacon donuts. Well, maybe some people. It's just so decadent. It's, it's a lot to take in. It's a healthy amount of dipping sauce, bro. It's a healthy amount of hot, man. Oh, you're trying to cool it down with the mayonnaise? Yeah. What am I doing over here? It's just <laughs> too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> do it like a gentleman, Billy Goat. It was too hot. I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know what? I don't know if it was the heat blinding the taste and the salt. I was really liking that though. But too salty, 7.2. That's fair. It's really fing salty. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> I've determined that. Do you think it's too hot for me to try? Never know until you try it. Because I'm not a gentleman. It was really hot. Oh, <laughs> really hot. But I do have to say something. Oh, I forgot to set a timer on these. It's like eating a hot dog. A really, a really salty hot dog. Yeah, it tastes just like a really salty hot dog. And I don't know why anybody would work for three hours for a hella salty hot dog. Nah, it's too decadent. It's a hot dog. <laughs> Joking on it. Well, that was disgusting. We wound up throwing away the rest of it. Um, and that's really sad because I hate wasting food. James did eat the bacon off of all of them though and Joe helped him because they didn't want to waste the bacon. Uh, so don't make that at home. As I'm recording this, it's day three of waking up at 5 a.m. But I intended for this to not just be a new wake up, but a new routine. And I love the routine that I found online because it's like, it promotes positivity and like a little bit more of a healthy mental space. And I feel like I've kind of cheated myself out of the full experience of it. Cause I haven't meditated. I haven't journaled. I haven't done the gratitude. I haven't done to-do lists. And I, I really want to. So I feel like this week is about getting into the groove. 5 a.m., gym, meeting, home, 20 minutes. And next week, I'm gonna start implementing the mental space of it all. The meditation, the reading, the journaling. So this is not the end for me. I am so glad that I tried this. I am really glad that I'm giving it a real attempt. I'm committing for sure right now to two more weeks. And next Tuesday, I will show you how it plays out. I don't know how it will. Like I said, I'm only on day three right now. So let's see. And we're gonna make clam chowder. I'll see you next Tuesday.